These lizards are also known as arboreal alligator lizards. They're specifically arboreal alligator lizards because, unlike some other alligator lizard species, abronia lizards live in trees. There are other types of alligator lizards not classified in the same genus, so to avoid confusion, we'll just go with their genus name, abronia, when discussing today's subjects. There are approximately 20 species classified in the abronia genus, and they make their homes in the tree canopy. Abronia lizards are most common in cloud forests in the mountainous regions of Central America. A cloud forest is a tropical rainy forest found at higher altitudes. For example, abronia lizards are typically found between 4 and 8,000 feet above sea level. What's interesting about that is that these lizards face strong temperature changes, and their homes almost never get above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Like other lizards, abronia lizards depend on their environment for warmth. They are ectotherms, or otherwise cold-blooded. While these lizards are known for their tree-dwelling behavior, when it gets really cold in their mountain homes, they may gather together in underground dens to try and conserve heat, not unlike rattlesnakes who snuggle when it gets too chilly. These lizards average just under a foot in length from nose to tail tip, and their tails are prehensile. A prehensile tail helps a lot while these lizards scale trees more than 100 feet above the ground. When they aren't in trees, abronia lizards may be exploring moss, rotting logs, and bromeliads for food. Abronia lizards eat insects and insect larvae during the day and rest at night. These lizards are understudied due to their cryptic nature. Basically, what this means is that they're difficult to find, and this checks out considering they often come in colors and patterns that match the plants they live among. When taking a closer look, one might notice these lizards have some similarities to other lizards we've previously discussed. These lizards are closely related to glass lizards. Can you spot some of the similarities and differences among these lizards? There are varying reports about when abronia lizards breed, and most of these observations are from captive individuals, but they seem to have a preference for mating in the second half of the year, and then giving birth six to eight months later. Typically, their births occur in spring and summer. Anywhere from seven to 14 babies may be born at a time. Unlike some reptiles who lay eggs, abronia lizards give birth to live young, like anacondas. And, like anacondas, baby abronias are on their own from birth. If they can avoid predation from birds and other reptiles, these lizards are known to reach 10 years of age. For more facts on abronia lizards, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.